Uh, T minus 50 seconds and counting. We're going to clear the air and proceed. Had a concurrence from the launch director to proceed. And if we clear, we will not stop at 31. Is that true? Another space shuttle mission is poised for flight at Kennedy Space Center. The orbiter computers have positioned the vent. Countless hours of meticulous preparations have been made, not only on the spacecraft, but on a variety of instrumentation which will track the vehicle and record its performance. Radar to show velocity and position in space. Telemetry to send back to controllers on Earth the status of functions and conditions taking place aboard the spacecraft during the mission. And photography in many forms to document the launch for later analysis by engineers or to provide public information releases as well as motion pictures and TV records for the Air Force, NASA and other agencies. Under a photographic and video support contract with the Air Force and NASA, the contractor provides a variety of photo services to range users. Some $100 million worth of government furnished equipment is allocated to various support areas. It ranges from small handheld still cameras to the impressive recording optical tracking instruments called ROTI. Permanently mounted in elevated domed observatories, each Rotai unit is a blend of modern electronics and optics. It has a 24-inch aperture telescope, which ranges from 100-inch to 500-inch focal length. Depending upon weather conditions, it can track and record a rocket launch on motion picture film or TV for up to five minutes after a launch. The documentary, engineering, and optical film services employ a variety of 16, 35, and 70 millimeter manual and remote controlled cameras. Set up close to the launch pad, the cameras are preset and operate sequencer according to. Acquisition and disposition or PADD, is written by a photo planner which outlines the coverage requirements on a given launch. It reflects the number and types of cameras to be used, their specific location, the film required, lens size, frame rate and photographic objective, as well as processing and distribution instructions. During a shuttle launch, Approximately 138 still, motion picture, and TV cameras are trained on the vehicle by photo contractor personnel. High-speed motion picture cameras in explosion-proof housings record the ignition and flame pattern of the orbiter's main engines. Other high-speed cameras capture the explosive bolt release of the hold-down mechanism as the boosters ignite and lift the shuttle from the launch pad. A mobile optical tracking system, also known as MOTS, carries up to four cameras and uses a remote TV control system. Placed close to the launch pad, it tracks in the restricted zone without endangering the operator. Other tracking systems include the MIGOR, also known as the Mobile Intercept Ground Optical Recording System. Its lens has an 18-inch aperture with a variable focal length from 90 to 500 inches. Metric cameras are positioned so as to provide the most accurate coverage of every launch. Data from these instruments gives analysts a fine degree of triangulation measurement on the rocket's acceleration and position in space. Selected metric tracking sites have the added capability of providing real-time position data to range safety. Some remote-controlled cameras close to the launch pad make a precise film record in slow motion during the critical period immediately after launch.
Among other things, the high frame rate cameras provide detailed studies of umbilical disconnects and flame patterns. A Swiss-built Contravis camera records a target image plus azimuth and elevation data as it tracks. These units are the primary source of data to range safety during early rocket flight. Intermediate focal length optical trackers, or IFLOTs, can accept up to four cameras and are manually operated on land or at sea. Timing pulses in increments down to a thousandth of a second are recorded on engineering film to correlate all data input for later analysis. Optic shop technicians service, repair, and overhaul almost 500 motion picture, video, and still cameras to maintain maximum quality of photo coverage. Along with other services, lenses varying in size from fractional ounces to 200 and 300 pounds are calibrated, polished, collimated, coated, and returned to their original configuration. In addition to the contractor inventory, the optic shop repairs photo-optical mechanical equipment for the entire government community. From small cameras, still and motion picture projectors to large complex tracking systems. Photo engineers design and oversee the fabrication of all needed modifications to camera or lab processing equipment. 16, 35, and 70 millimeter film is processed in a state-of-the-art motion picture laboratory at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The skilled lab personnel can process and print approximately 250,000 feet of film per week. Video editing and reproduction facility is located at the laboratory. In addition to the basic electronic editing equipment, there is duplicating capability for copying tapes to and from three-quarter inch, half inch, VHS, and beta. At Kennedy Space Center headquarters building, a still photo laboratory provides NASA and the Air Force with a complete range of services. Enlargements, transparencies, slides, view graphs, copies, whatever the requirement, the needs are expeditiously met by a team of lab professionals. More than a million film negatives are captioned and filed for reprinting in the still film library. Currently exposed negatives are stored on computer disks and cataloged into a retrieval system which can electronically call up and display the photos for selection by a client. The film and video productions unit works in many space program related support areas. They research, develop, write and produce film and video shows and also produce computerized multi-projector slideshows on a variety of subjects. This includes artwork for specific programs, computer-generated titles and slides, and a unique camera system for converting black and white art to color slides. Special animation sequences are photographed to add to the quality of the finished production. Material is filmed on the appropriate location, edited to match the shooting script, coordinated with narration tracks, then mixed with live or pre-recorded sound or music effects. Subjects can range from flight crew training and mission reports to Air Force traffic safety security training programs, educational materials, 
and public information programs which can be found in film and video libraries the world over. The very nature of photo operations work calls for a team of highly skilled people who take pride in their work. Many have been involved in their craft for more than 20 years, giving the kind of performance which has established a long-running record of quality service, both to the space program and the nation.